السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیار ریبرین برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ویلکم ٹو مائی اینڈ ادر ایپیسوڈ اینڈ ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ون آف دا موسٹ امپورٹینٹ تھیوریز دی کنسٹرکشن بائی نیم سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ فرسٹ آف آل واٹ از دی کنسٹرکشن اینڈ واٹ ڈو مین بائی دی کنسٹرکشن The construction means a method of critical analysis of philosophical and literary language. It is an approach to understanding the relationship between text and meaning. It exposes unquestionable metaphysical assumptions, internal contradictions, philosophically and literary language. It gives an emphasis on the internal working of a language and system. It was originated by the great French philosopher Jack Derrida who defined this critical term variously throughout his career. The construction is not destruction by Derrida who explained this term as a strategy, rules for reading, interpretation, and writing. The construction is not synonymous with destruction. It is in fact much closer to the original meaning of the word analysis, which is etymologically means to undo. The deconstruction of a text does not proceed by random doubt or arbitrary subversion, but by the careful teasing out of pouring forces of signification within the text. Johnson, The Critical Difference, page 5. It's a post-structuralist approach to literary criticism involving the close reading of text in order to demonstrate that any given text has irreconcilably contradictory meanings rather than being a unified logical whole. The Bedford glossary of critical and literary terms. However, it's a method of inquiry which asserts that all writings are full of confusion, full of confusion and contradictions. Even a writer cannot overcome these contradictions by his deliberate effort to convey the meaning. Structure sign and play in the discourse of human sciences dealing with analyzing the very idea of structure is a seminal essay that Derrida delivered in 1966 in John Hopkins University. The construction pulls apart a text layer by layer Finding binary opposition in the text is a core, is a fundamental component of deconstruction. It is not intended to find the true meanings of text. And according to Jack Derrida, language is open system and language is subjective. A real meaning of the text is unknown. The other signs are also present with the meaning of a single sign. This concept was discussed in Jack Derrida's famous book of grammatology in 1967. According to him, the history of philosophy was logocentric. And we know very well Jack Derrida a great French philosopher is the founding father of deconstruction. He is saying there is nothing outside text. Actually, his basic principles are there is nothing outside the text, the notion of difference. Every text deconstructs itself, structure, sign and play. Aspects of deconstruction Deconstruction has at least two aspects. The first one is literary aspect and the second one is philosophical aspect. 
For better understanding, I would like to talk about literary aspect. And we know very well that literary deconstruction is basically about looking at a piece of literature and looking for things called binary opposition in the text. So things like male and female, black and white, hot and cold, day and night, love and hate, and so on, are all regarded as these binary oppositions. And some of these binary oppositions are considered to be better or privileged than the others. In fine, it may be stated that no text is absolute meaning. There are always some possibilities of some new interpretations. A text is multi-layered. Language is eternally metaphorical and he demolishes the distinction between literature and non-literature. For better understanding, uh, I would like to mention theory of deconstruction. Regarding theory of deconstruction, according to Derrida, the construction seems to center around the idea that language and meaning are often inadequate in trying to convey the masses or idea a communicator is trying to express. Since the confusion stems from the language and not the object, then one can should break down or deconstruct the language to see if we can better understand what the confusion stems. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your cooperation and coordination.